What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I wanted to give you guys a small break from all the Thor content and I wanted to do something that I've been meaning to do for a while and that is start checking off some of the characters that I've never used to complete any of the game's content and that's just like a personal mission that I'm on personally. I have a lot of characters currently built and basically every character that you see here at six stars with the exception of the ultimate actually have their gears at 20 meaning i've invested quite a lot in a lot of these characters some of them even have iso sets and i've never actually used them to clear anything in the game i have a list of a bunch of characters that i'd like to eventually check off every single one of them because it's actually frustrating to think that i invest so much in so many different characters just to have them sit on my roster and be completely useless so for today i wanted to check off wong a really annoying character and and I gotta be honest with you guys, every time I use him, I wonder to myself, why are you in this game and how are you associated with Doctor Strange if you're so bloody weak? Like seriously, man, this guy has barely any DPS. His survivability is absolutely ridiculously low, even though he actually has immunity right here. You would think since he has five seconds of damage immunity on a 14 second cooldown time, with max kill cooldown that's seven seconds you would think that makes him pretty tanky especially with his leadership giving him some physical damage immunity but because of how slow and sluggishly he attacks he's actually always exposed and it's just really annoying to play the character in addition to his damage immunity, he also has a stun right here, but even this stun is not as good as it could be, right? Yes, it's a directional stun and it penetrates, meaning if someone is in front of you and there's another enemy behind that person, it will stun them both. However, it's a very one-dimensional attack and you have to line up things perfectly if you want to get the most out of it. I really, really get so aggravated sometimes because of this guy and because of the fact that when you're using him he doesn't just stick to one target and you basically don't have complete control of the character he's gonna bounce from multiple different targets and in most cases get himself killed and that's why i get really aggravated when i play wong so shout out to any of you guys who like him and you can get a lot of stuff done in this game with him because for me personally he's strictly an alliance conquest character that is it however i wanted to check him off the list because as of right now this is what he currently looks like i have quite a bit invested in him for a character that i've never ever used to complete anything so 124 for attack speed 49 percent for critical rate 183 for critical damage 48 percent for ignore defense and 48 percent for reduced cooldown duration as for his gears everything is at 20 last gear slot is actually roll for skill cooldown rotation here for me is actually going to vary i'm going to try to prioritize the three and the four because that's mainly the only way to keep him alive honestly and i'll try to use the one and two off cooldown because they're decent skills simply because of how short they are this guy actually has one of the weakest and most useless fifth skills in this game believe me when i say that when i hit with it it actually deals barely any damage and to be honest after i use it for like half a second i just want to immediately cancel out of it because of how slow it is and it leaves him completely exposed as for his iso set as you can see right here overdrive and i was really mad when i got overdrive on him simply because overdrive is an iso set that i try to roll for characters that i really like and getting it for wong i'm thinking to myself wow of course rng is gonna troll me and give me an amazing iso set for a character that is barely usable in the game still if you like Wong, this is probably the best ISO set for the guy because he has basically no damage. And as you can see for the Obelisk, I gave him critical damage and 3 seconds of invincibility. The movement speed is not any use right here and to be honest with you guys, the critical damage isn't going to be of any use to anyone if you plan to ever tier 2 this guy. However, for me, I don't plan to ever tier 2 him. And the reason why I say it's not going to be useful to you if you tier 2 him is because of his tier 2 passive. As you can see, 
see he has a pretty good tier 2 passive but it's not even going to do anything for him because his skills are so bad they're so slow and sluggish and they just leave him completely exposed but 40% increase to critical damage and 30% increase to guaranteed critical rate is actually really really good and if you take a look at his native passive right here he also gives himself 5% increase to critical damage and 3% increase to critical rate so overall he gives himself a whopping 45% natively when it comes to critical damage but that being said guys let's jump into some gameplay and I'll show you guys the one and only thing that I've ever been able to complete with Wong outside of Alliance Conquest all right boys so this is not going to be pretty i can tell you guys that right now we're gonna open with the three and ideally i like to open with the two or the one and catch falcon because he's the most annoying one to deal with in this stage because he has iframes and he's constantly flying but i'm gonna try to keep these two in a corner because if i can manage to do that he will actually be able to do this pretty well i hope but because of how slow his skills are, even with 124% increase to his attack speed, he's still like... Okay, see, that's what I don't like. I was attacking Falcon, and for some reason, because his fifth skill just likes to switch targets randomly, he just freaking went to go attack Winter Soldier. Like, can you just stay where I want you to stay and focus on a singular target? That way, I can actually complete this thing. Like, you're so annoying, honestly, guys. I don't know how anyone enjoys playing this guy. And this is only on floor three, like, seriously. Okay, don't, don't get up. Stay, oh my goodness. Okay, I have to try and, I have to be real careful here because if he iframes me and jumps into his 5-4 combo, like, ooh, yep, he was just about to do that too. I might have, yeah, okay, we should be good, we should be, we got this, I think, come on, y yep, alright, so we got it, like I said, guys, it wasn't pretty, Wong, honestly, is a very annoying character to deal with, but I'm really happy that I was actually finally able to do something with my investment in through this character. But that's all I have for this one, guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. I know it was not the most amazing video, but I'm trying to check off some of the characters that I haven't been able to use to do anything in this game so far. If you guys like these type of videos and you want to see more of these guys, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. But that is all for this one, guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love. And I'm gone.